If you eat fish in a restaurant, you have almost certainly eaten farmed fish. So far, we've talked about agriculture on land. Aquaculture is, of course, water-based food production. In my mind, fishing implies wild caught, as in a line is thrown in or a net is thrown in in a wild environment and then the fish are pulled in. So you may get them, you may not. As the joke goes, this is why they call it fishing, not catching. It's kind of a version of hunting and gathering, if you think about it. Even if it's done on a commercial scale, you cannot guarantee you're going to get the catch. Aquaculture is fish farming. The idea is that you produce the fish. You have big tanks or big nets, and you are growing the fish that you are then going to harvest and then sell them. This is done on land, it's done in lakes, and it's done in the seas and the oceans. Both fishing, as I described fishing, and fish farming are done overwhelmingly as commercial activities on Earth. If you look, you can see where the major fishing grounds are. The Pacific Northwest, the Pacific Western Central, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Southeast. This is where we get things like Chilean sea bass from, for example, and a lot of shrimp tuna also, the Pacific Northeast, and the Atlantic Northeast. These are really big, big fishing grounds. If you look at fish production, notice the country that is number one. It should be clear by looking at that map. It is China. There's a growing interest in the health benefits of eating fish, as you are certainly aware, because of omega-3s, less fat, fewer calories, the fish themselves are protein dense. But overfishing of wild fishing grounds, and that's what we've done with huge commercial fee fleets taking the fish out of the ocean, and the need for reliable supplies make aquaculture a growing commercial activity. But there's a difference between this, okay, and this, <laughs> obviously. Globally, aquaculture is expected to reach $250, $250 billion per year by 2027. China is the largest producer and consumer of aquaculture, and by a lot, as you're about ready to see. The top U.S. species, would you have guessed this? Oysters, clams, and Atlantic salmon. If you eat fish, you probably had Atlantic salmon. It's fish farmed. But a lot of other things like seaweed, shrimp, tilapia, trout, catfish, carp are all also fish farmed. So take a look at this. Basically, it's China and everyone else, okay? Last I checked, the United States was 17th on this list. We didn't even make this graph. I mean, we don't eat a lot of fish in this country, of course. And look at global production. In 1950, there was almost no aquaculture. By 2000, aquaculture really began to grow. And at this point, it's about even with wild fishing. But you can see that wild fishing, which is fisheries on this uh, chart, wild fishing has leveled off and is going to remain level off because we've overfished, whereas aquaculture is predicted to grow, 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 grow. However, there are questions of sustainability of both forms of fish production. And with regard to fish farming, aquaculture, with regard to how they do it, pollution. So is aquaculture intensive or extensive? Well, you just saw the pictures of all those fish all crammed together. It's intensive because of the investment, the care, and the maintenance.